Hi guys, welcome to my classroom. My name is Christine and today we're going to be covering something that's very special, modern English slang. So I know that there are maybe different YouTube videos that have English slang, but today we're going to be covering some very modern English slang that maybe came out in the past maybe two, one to two years. So these are very commonly used. So when you see it in maybe television or on the internet, sometimes you might not know the meaning and in some of the other lessons you might not see them. So today I'm going to bring you some of the top five modern American English slangs that have been coming out so you guys can have an understanding of what the heck everyone is saying when you're maybe watching movies, when you're on the internet watching popular videos. So let's get moving and as always with slang, don't use these with, these te with your teachers and don't use them with your bosses. Use them with your friends. Okay, so first one, I think this might be the most popular one, Bay. So this might have come out um, maybe about two years ago and so most of you might know what this means. Um, you can usually exchange it or use it instead of maybe baby or sweetie, um, but actually what it means is before, so the B, anyone else. So B from before, a from anyone and E from else. So that spells bay. So a lot of times people now use um, in America, instead of saying baby or sweetie to their boyfriend or girlfriend, they will call them bay. So one thing to note is that both men and women use this when talking to their boyfriend or girlfriends. So anyone can use this and you can use you can use instead, as I said, you can use instead of baby or sweetie. So let's say that maybe you're dating an American or maybe you just want to practice with your um, boyfriend or girlfriend, you can call them bae. So a lot of people say, bae I love you. So that is commonly used and so when you see it in a song, when you see it on TV, now you know the origins. That it actually means before anyone else, I love you. Or before anyone else, you're important to me. Okay, so basic. So what this word means in proper English is just very plain. The essentials, so to speak. But now commonly, when you use the word basic and you're describing something or a situation, it actually becomes an insult. So this actually, it's a bit of an insult. It's, it has a negative meaning. So what it actually means is that it's boring. Not fun. Now if we think about it, we can actually make sense of this new um, modern meaning. Let me just make sure it looks like it's an R. Um, because let's say, for instance, in English we also say that a clothing item, maybe a plain t-shirt, maybe um, a very plain no printed sweater, we call those basics because it is a very basic clothing item. So let's say you wore those very plain t-shirts every day. Now we call those just basics, not necessarily an insult, but in proper English you call them basics. But now in America, because it's just very plain and it doesn't have any maybe fun characteristics on it, then it's also boring. And so it's not fun. And so a lot of times now, um, a lot of Americans, mostly youth, um, when you say something is basic um, in slang, it means that it's not fun, it's boring because so many people have done it so many times, it's kind of the typical thing, so it's kind of the basic thing to do. So 
For example, let's use it as an example. Um, you were going to, you had an exam tomorrow and you wanted to study. And so your friends wanted to go out and play today. And so you told them, no, I can't study. And, you tell, and then they tell you that you're basic. So that means that, you know, you're boring, you're not fun, you're kind of doing what is expected. So that is what we use in basic when we want to use slang. Of course, basic still has the proper English term, meaning kind of the essentials. But in slang, that's what it means. And you're going to see a lot of this in the videos and in the TV shows nowadays. Okay. Next one, number three, is ship. So this one has a very specific meaning, but I think that ship is kind of something that a lot of the younger people in America and also all over the world are doing. And so to ship means to maybe, actually means to support a relationship. I actually don't need these, um, whoops, I don't need those quotes. Support a relationship. So I think in our internet, community, we can all agree that a big trend now is when you're a fan of someone or a fan of multiple maybe shows, books, movies, that you kind of want characters to, you know, get in a relationship, be a boyfriend and girlfriend. And so this term actually came from that trend, but now people use it in normal day-to-day -day speech. So when you ship someone, it means you support a relationship. So it actually is just taking that last four letters from the word relationship, and you're just taking that word and making it into its own slang word. So instead of saying the long phrase of support a relationship, you're just saying, I ship them. So a lot of Americans say, maybe you have two friends, a guy and a girl, They've been friends for a long time, and you all know, all of your friends know that they're perfect for each other, but they just haven't dated yet. You can say to your friends, I ship those two, meaning I support a relationship between them. So a lot in the internet community, when you guys are looking at the videos that are popular, Americans are going to say that they're going to use this word ship. I think some um, UK youth also use this too. So. Now you know what it means. You're not actually putting them on a boat. It means you support a relationship. So ship, not a boat. Okay, so fourth one, throwing shade. So I think this is also one of the popular ones. It actually has its own television show in America. So this is kind of a slang phrase that is growing in popularity um, all over. And so throwing shade actually means to give someone an attitude. So it's not, so when someone's upset with you, they're throwing shade at you if they're showing it. So let's say that your friend got into a fight with you and they weren't very nice to you and you don't want to talk to them right now, but you run into them on the street and you don't know what to do. So you have to talk to them because you saw them down the street and you can't ignore them. So when they come and say hi to you, you are throwing shade at them. So you're giving someone an attitude. You're upset. Um, sometimes when someone throws shade, they actually publicly give someone um, an attitude. So it could be public. It doesn't have to be. So let me, sorry guys, let's clean that up. So it could be public. So the TV show that is popular in America, people are publicly throwing shade, meaning that they're giving someone an attitude. They're saying, they're actually, so they're showing they're upset. They're saying things that are negative, they, are ins they could be insulting, so they could be insulting. This is actually, this has a very, um, has two meanings, um, could insult, 
vocally, so you couldn't insult vocally. So it could be that you actually physically, well not physically, you actually vocally um, insulted the person or you could just show it with your body um, expressions like you could look like this, like you look very annoyed, you look very upset, so they know you're upset but you actually didn't say anything vocally. Or you could publicly, like on the American TV show, go out on television and then vocally say, I'm upset with that person, that person hurt my feelings, they did this to hurt me. That would also be considered throwing shade. So there's two meanings, guys. Um, it could be either you give someone an attitude, you look upset with them, so they'll know you're upset with them. So you don't necessarily have to say anything. Or you could actually go out in public and then you could insult them in front of everyone. So either way, you're letting the world know or you're letting that one person know that you're upset. So example, when you tell your friends after you ran into that person, you can tell them, I was throwing shade, meaning I was showing I was upset when you met your friend who made you upset. So, last one, the feels. So I think this one has been popular with, um, you know, some of the maybe cat videos that you guys see on the internet um, or just any other um, movies um, or popular maybe American culture. Um, but the feels really just means um, you're feeling emotional. So what is it meaning? So just like you have feelings, then the feels just means that you're having feelings. So let's say you guys are watching a sad movie. Do you guys remember when you last watched a sad movie, you felt maybe something inside and you felt like you were about to cry, but you always feel like something is maybe growing up inside and you're about to cry. So that's a feeling, right? You're feeling something. Well, the feels means that you're feeling something. So you're feeling so affected by whatever's happening very, usually very sad or very touching and you are almost about to cry. So really, it's about to cry. So it has a positive connotation. I would say that mostly girls probably use it because guys don't really like to say that they're feeling emotional. Um, so a lot of times what girls are using, a lot of girls will say, is that they watched a really sad movie and now they have the feels. So you would say, I have the feels. It means that you're feeling so emotional because of something. You're so sad. But it's actually a positive feeling because, you know, when you watch a sad movie, it's not bad that you're sad. It's actually good because that means that the movie had, um, it really affected you in a good way because it made you feel good. Um, so, that is the feels, um, and I know that some of these um, slang words might be new to you. They are actually pretty new in America as well. So look, be on the lookout for these guys because these guys are very popular in American culture right now. So you're going to see them in movies and television shows and songs, SNS. So be on the lookout because you will see them. So thank you guys for watching my video. If you want to see any other videos, then please click that subscribe button if you liked the video, and even if you didn't like it. And if you want to see any other videos, then please click over here, and you're going to see a link for them.